Hi everyone. Okay, so today we're going to do a September favorites. I know it's the beginning of October, but I'm a little late on the get-go, so bear with me here. Um, I don't really have a lot. Um, kind of broad spectrum. I don't have any foundation or anything like that, but um, I guess we'll just jump right in it. So um, I'm going to start with the Hula Benefit Bronzer. Um, I absolutely love this bronzer. I had wanting it for a while and I decided, oh, I'm going to finally go get it. So I finally decided to go get it. Um, but it's really pretty. It Packaging looks like this. Um, and then it comes with this little... Um, brushed with it and it's super cute and it's really good for getting in and getting that definition in your face um and then it looks just like this so it's a really really pretty color i'll swatch it for you so it turns out really pretty um i like it as a bronzer some people might think it's too dark I guess for them. I think it really depends but um, especially for us fair women um, it definitely works really well for me and then I normally just take a bigger fluffy brush if it's too much of a definition for me uh, or too much of a dra dramatic line I just go back in and just fluff it out so then that way I still am covered and everything you know looks good so um, that's definitely definitely one of my favorites right now. Um, moving on another benefit I guess I'll just stick with benefit since I have a couple of them but um, I am loving this the benefit their real mascara um, this is what the packaging looks like but I really like this mascara this is my primary mascara that I do use um, this is what the brush looks like and it just really does a great job of like separating all of your eyelashes and making sure that you like have Every single eyelash that you have, it is spread out. Um, so it's really, really nice. Um, but I don't like it by itself, so I definitely have to layer it. That's the only thing that I don't like about it. But other than that, I really don't have anything to complain about it. I think it's definitely worth the money that you um, pay for it. I think it's like $28, $29, something like that. And Ulta, Sephora, all those places definitely sell it. So that's what I would definitely do. If you want are looking for a good mascara, I think this is a really great mascara. Okay. Another benefit. So I'm going to move on to the Pore Professional um, Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores by Benefit. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, I have really oily skin, and I know that I said that in the last video I did, and you'll probably hear that so much more because I just like to say it all the time. But um, I have oily skin, and I like to use this around the T-zone, so right underneath my eyes. I really use it all over my face, but I definitely like... Um, this it makes my skin feel really really soft um when you put it in your hand it feels funky like when i first started using it i thought that it was oily but it actually isn't oily at all um it makes your face feel really good i notice a big difference in my pores when i use it so um this is another product that i recommend now if you don't want to spend the money on this um L'Oreal has the Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother and it's oil free. I also like this one. This one I think does not do as good of a job as this one does. However, I think that it does um, do the job. So if you are looking for something that's a little bit cheaper, I think this is like 30 bucks for this little tube. Um, and this is only $19.99. At least that's where I got mine at Target. So. Um, but this one says that it's an instant miracle, instant releases the look of wrinkles, lines, and pores. And you're just supposed to put it on after your moisturizer, um, before your makeup application. So I do like this one as well. Um, this one does feel a lot more oily than the other one does. Um, but it definitely helps smooth out the lines. So that's definitely something I recommend. Um, okay. So the next one is going to be the Styla, Stila. I don't know how you say it, but I think it's Stila, Styla. <laughs> I don't know. Um, this one is the Stay All Day Prime and Anti-Shine Balm. It primes, mattifies, it diffuses pores. So, um, of course, I don't use all these things at once, but this is what the packaging looks like. I mean, it's just a balm. It feels really, really weird, and you can put it underneath of your makeup. You can put it over on top of your makeup, so I can just put it on like just like this, and it'll help mattify my makeup, and then it comes with just a little um, little sponge. So, um, And it has a mirror in it, too, but I don't want to blind you guys, so <laughs> see, blind you guys. Um, but it's really nice. I do like this. It's not a, f like, I don't know, I'm not in love with it, but I don't hate it. Um, I definitely think that it does the job. I prefer over top of my makeup than underneath of my makeup. I think it kind of makes me a little bit oily. Um, but then again, I'm having problems with my skin right now anyways, so it could 
just be that. But um, this is something that I de definitely recommend. I do like this as well. But again, if you're looking for something that's just a little bit cheaper, uh, excuse me, um, I definitely think that this, you know, Revita Lift Miracle Blur is definitely something that you guys could go for. Next, we're going to move on to Urban Decay. So I know a lot of people have probably talked about all these products in some, you know, video or whatnot, but um, I'm a little late on the bandwagon, but um, Urban Decay came out with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, the long lasting, and it's oil free. It sets your makeup. I am in love with this. I used to like the MAC um, spray, setting spray that they had. And I still like it, but I like that more for when I use it with my eyeshadow on my eyes if I want it. Um, but this is amazing. Um, I just spray a couple times. Like I'll just go like this and go. And that's it. And then I kind of let it sit for a little bit. Um, but I really like it. It makes my makeup last, you know, really good throughout the day. I don't seem to have any problems with it, but... Um, if you want to invest in something, not that it's very, very expensive, but this is what the packaging looks like. And it's just a little bottle just like this, but I would recommend it. I've also heard that the new B6 spray, I believe it is, that they came out with is really good as well. Um, I haven't had a chance to try it yet, but, um, when I talked to the lady in the store in Ulta, um, she was saying that it is a really good product. So that's something that you could try as well. Um, and they, they say that you're supposed to spray it before, um, you put on your, uh, foundation and all that kind of stuff. So that is definitely something as well. So the last couple things I have is for your brows. Um, I just got introduced to the Anastasia brow line and I love it. Um, these are a couple things that I use. Um, I originally bought the package that it came in and this is, these are the things that it comes in. Um, so this is the one I got. It just has a double ended um, makeup brush and it just has a pointy end here and then it has the spoolie on the other side so you can do your brows. Then it came with this dual powder. I got mine in dark brown, um, but this is the powder that it came in. And I just use, I mean I use both of them as you can tell, but I just use the darker one towards my tail of my eyebrow um, just to give it more of a definition in it. And then I go back in with the lighter one and just fill in my brows. Um, Brows are a difficulty for me. I don't know why. It's a learning process. I think it's because I've got my eyebrows done and they didn't look very good. So I was trying to fill in and get them to where that I want them. Um, but it's been a trial and error. So um, the other thing I use that came in that same kit is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This stuff is amazing. Um, it just looks like this. It's just a spoolie. And it's just clear brow gel and it comes in packaging just like this. Um, but I really, really, really like this brow gel. Um, I know there's generics out there that you could probably buy. I don't own any of them. I'm sure NYX has one, um, that you can get at Ulta, but I think this is really worth the money. I think that it's more beneficial to buy the duo pack, which has all three of these items in it. Um, I think that it's cheaper actually to buy it than just this. Cause I think this is like $20 to buy itself. Um, and this together, I think I paid like 36 bucks for maybe give or take. Um, so that was definitely worth it. But I definitely, if anything, if you don't, if you already have a brow routine that you really like, I would definitely recommend getting this Anastasia brow gel if you don't already have it because it definitely makes your eyebrows stay put and they do not move so that's definitely a plus um the only other thing that i really have is the anastasia brow Wiz pencil i really like this pencil um some days i'm a powder kind of girl some days i like the you know the brow Wiz pencil but it looks just like this this is the packaging for it i guess it helps me move my hands on um i get mine in soft brown i it's kind of dark. This is what it looks like. Um, and you're able to write really, really fine with it, which is really nice. Um, I just get soft brown because my hair, I dye it so it's darker. Um, and I try to match my hair tone. But other than that, these are definitely my favorites. I will list everything that I had in the video below. If you guys have any requests, please make sure to comment. And please, please, please subscribe. All right. Thank you, guys.